it seems like Mr. Zuckerberg is done playing around. Here's the latest. He just bought Ray-Bans. If you haven't been following along, Mark Zuckerberg, aka Meta, is buying up everything in an attempt to build their sort of AI division. And they're not messing around with AGI whatever. They're going straight to super intelligence. So the big thing that we've heard about recently is the 49% non-voting stake in Scale AI. That ran for about 15 billion dollars. Scale AI does a lot of data labeling for training AI models, apparently some synthetic data pipelines. They also have Alexander Wang and some other key engineers that are joining Meta to work on the super intelligence division. They attempted to buy Ilya Sutskover's safe super intelligence. That bid was rejected, but as you can see, they poached quite a few key figures. Looks like they attempted to buy Furiosa AI. The 800 million cash offer was rejected. But as Mark and Meta are building out their super intelligence labs, that's the new sort of subdivision that they're running inside of Meta. So again, they got Alexander Wang and Nat Friedman, who was the co-founder and former GitHub CEO. Daniel Gross, who was the CEO of Safe Super Intelligence, again, Ilya's company. By the way, this was Ilya's response to all the stuff that happened. So he's saying, I sent the following message to our team and investors. As you know, Daniel Gross's time with us has been winding down. And as of June 29th, he's officially no longer a part of SSI. Ilya is now formally taking the role of CEO of the company and Daniel Levy is the president. And he's saying that he will likely not be looking to get acquired. They have the compute, they have the team, and they know what to do. Together, we will keep building safe super intelligence. Ilya. As I mentioned before, you can kind of infer from this that they know what they're doing. They have something. They're pretty convinced they have something. Sometimes people say that this is all AI hype to raise money. Well, when somebody gives you 30 billion for your company and all you have is hype and wild expectations, you tend to take the 30 billion. Most reasonable people would, especially if that means going into a company like Meta with all their resources and talent and being on that team. Rejecting that offer kind of seems to imply that Ilya believes that they have something big and it's something that they can get to, something that they can achieve. Apparently, Mark Zuckerberg also got Roaming Peng, the head of foundation models of Apple, Jack Ray, formerly Google DeepMind, Pei Sun from DeepMind, slash Waymo, Joel Pobar, Anthropic Infra Lead, Johan Sklakwik, a Google Fellow, Trapid Bansal OpenAI, these people from OpenAI, and many, many other key researchers at OpenAI, including from the RLHF team, Vision Language Fusion, Post-Training Alignment, Retrieval Augmented Generation, Operator Agents, a safety lead from Anthropic, Anton Bachtin. Interestingly, they did not manage to get anyone from XAI. I wonder why that is. Let me know in the comments if you know why they did not get anyone from XAI. Because again, we have SSI, right? Ilias Company. We have GitHub, Apple, Google DeepMind, Waymo, Anthropic, tons of people from OpenAI. Scale AI got acquired. Not one from XAI as far as I know. And then finally, on top of this, he just is increasing his position. I mean, basically the company behind the Ray-Ban sunglasses. Meta Platforms bought a minority stake in the world's largest eyewear maker. So I guess the company, the holding company is called Essilor Luxotica SA. It looks like he currently owns around 3% and potentially will build that up to 5%. So it sounds like they believe that the form factor that these AI sort of assistants and various AI tools will take, their final form, so to speak, will be glasses. Which, by the way, that's kind of a similar thing to what Google is doing with their Project Astra. We're going to start seeing a lot more eyewear coming out in the future. It's not going to be called Project Astra. They're changing the name, but it's going to be on the Android ecosystem, likely including a vision, some sort of augmented reality. And it looks like Mark Zuckerberg is planning to be hot on their heels with Ray-Bans and the various AI things that these researchers that he just acquired or hired or poached, however you want to say that, all that new talent, they will help them build the infrastructure and everything else needed to power glasses and all the other AI tools. Meta Connect is coming in September 17th and 18th of this year, and it's likely they're going to be seeing some first on device demos of these AI assistants powered by a llama. Looks like that's going to be kind of the big theme of the event AI plus glasses. But whatever the case, this is a 
excellent time to be an AI researcher. Tens of millions of dollars offered to come to work for a different company. Offers of tens of billions of dollars rejected because you're shooting for something higher. Absolutely kind of an incredible time to be alive. But let me know what you think. Does Meta have what it takes to get to the number one spot? Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.